Hey everybody, welcome to Obscurities in Miniature, and I am one happy camper today. I finally got a hold of some of the Wadroon Raptor Riders. These guys, or I should say gals, took me a while to get a hold of, for whatever reason. It just took a while. And why would I not want these? Look at this. You've got big old, you know, roided out Amazonian Wadroon Orc women with big old pointy spears riding awesomely fantastically colored looking dinosaurs who doesn't love dinosaurs and angry aggressive warrior women what a match made in heaven so you get three of these in a pack i have no idea if you can build the raptors without the ladies why you'd want to do that i don't know maybe that's your jam it's not like there's a shortage of raptors out there on the market these are big looking raptors though tell you what body looks to be pretty large already see we've got four spears on this sprue so I might hold on to those might be able to get some use out of those and other kits or conversions I would love to get around to doing some conquest conversions I just have not been able to figure out where or what or how yet monstrous infantry slash cavalry bases I believe those are 50 or 60 millimeters and then let's see what else we got here in the box waiting for us. Command card. With paintings of raptors that mine will never reach as nice of complex paint job. Take a look at how they're put together. It doesn't start there. Okay, two halves of the body. Legs, claws go on the feet. Tail is a separate piece. Arms head with a separate tongue, at least for that one. Glue that head down, and then we've got the rider. So it does not look like there's any kind of saddle or anything to attach these ladies directly. They're riding bareback. So I guess, hypothetically, if you wanted to use these as big old giant apex predator dinosaur creatures in whatever your game of choice is, that is totally doable. That's cool. All right, let's take a look at the other frames. First off are, oh, they are completely different. Okay, that's good to know. So we have three completely different frames for this set. The first one we already showed you with the four spears on it. We'll toss that on the floor, out of the way, and we'll take a closer look at this one. Huge tail feathers. Sadly, we only have three. I was kind of hoping we might have an extra one or two on there. That would have been great for this random conversion or custom jobs. No idea what those horns are for. We'll find out. There is a skull adorned with stuff. And I believe one of the ladies is going to be wearing that. Casting quality looks really nice. The contact points are not super gigantic, so they're gonna be easy to clip off. That is a big plus. I know I've had issues with the manufacturer of these sprues every now and then with some of their thicker, chunkier figures, like the Wadroon Warbred. Uh, it just, it took a lot of time to clean up. These don't look like they're gonna to be too bad. And then we have all of the various legs and two more spears. Interesting. Sadly, this set does not have a command option, but then again, I don't think any of the monstrous infantry outside of the Avatara, I don't even think they really had anything. I could be wrong. But uh, I don't think any of the cavalry units for sure have had any kind of command unit options yet either, so no big deal there. But I guess hypothetically, you could chop up, you know, one of the standards like from the basic Wadroon guys and possibly stick it in one of the ladies' hands. Hopefully their hands are not a different size. We'll have to find out though, won't we? So give me a sec, we'll put these together, we'll see how they stack up, we'll dig out some other raptor, lizard, cold one types, and see how they all stack up and compare. So hold on one sec. Alright, we got our raptor riders done, I'll be honest with you, probably over a month ago. Um, Big problem I had 
was that I lost the bases. I have no idea what I did with them now. Don't know what I did with the cavalry bases. Don't know what I did with the, you know, these things. I have one. This is for the Uger that's always hanging around on camera here. Uh, we'll hold on to him in a sec. But I finally just said, you know what, forget it. Let's get these guys on here because I am itching to show off that Apex Predator. But we need to get the little guys first. The little ladies. Because, you know, obviously lizards and female rider. Anyway. All right. So just for reference, here we see a typical traditional raptor riding lizard. Uh, most of you probably, if you grew up playing Warhammer, are familiar with it. With a Warhammer figure there just for size issues. That's not how big our raptors are. Uh, now, first of all, I wanted to glue these on the actual bases. These are not their actual bases, but you can see these are significantly larger. And with the variety of heads and the setups with the arms and everything, you could put together quite a nice looking pack of just raptors if you were so inclined. I mean, come on, that's like night and day. They are big dinos and obviously with a very fantastical flair they are not based on any actual dinosaurs i already got an earful about that but i do appreciate the fact that they've got all those nice little feathers all over them i know some people are going to be hissing and you know recoil from the fact that they are feathered but i think that's pretty cool we don't see a lot of that on the tabletop and considering how big the raptors are once you've got the riders on there, because these ladies are equally large, um, it's going to be even more impressive. Now, figuring out which one I had which rider on is going to be the challenge, and with the blue tack, keeping everybody in place is going to be even more of a challenge. I had her on this one. I don't know. Now watch, they're all going to start. <laughs> Everybody's going to start bending and twisting and falling over. But I do like the fact that you can run them completely unmounted. You don't have to have anybody on there if you feel that inclined, if you want to have just a pack of wild raptors. And I do believe there are rules for running raptor packs for the Wadrone without any kind of companion on top. So you can see just based on the fact, obviously none of them are glued, uh, having them glued on the bases onto the mounts would be much more practical. I'm going to just keep this one here for the moment since this one seems to be the most sturdiest as it's got kind of a toe there poking down on to the base. And you kind of look like you want to stay there. Perfect. Okay. When push comes to shove I'll probably end up gluing her a little bit higher up but yeah. Anyway, just to give you a good impression of what you're getting yourself into, grabbing some of the other cavalry or monstrous sized figures from Conquest. Can't go wrong with an avatar. Hey, we're almost seeing eye to eye with each other. So they're pretty large models as it is, but I think with the mounts on them, I think they're going to be quite impressive. I wasn't as impressed with the way the Hundred Kingdoms cavalry turned out but i think these ladies are going to be super duper impressive you're grabbing a matriarch queen to show off with them i've seen some interesting conversions where people actually had chopped up some of the hunters and mounted them onto these raptors an interesting idea i'm kind of curious to see if much like with the apex predator which although it has a male rider has option resin bits to convert that up and have a female on there. I thought that was pretty cool to see. Grabbing some other models that you guys might be familiar with. If you were to use these in other instances, a WizKids human, a Reaper human, a Frostgrave human. So you can see here, this is going to be super big in comparison, if you were going to want to have, even in terms of conquest models, having a human up here with the raptor themselves, 
We've got both a hundred kingdoms and a Nord human here. Just to get a good idea of what you're getting yourself into. I think if you wanted to go like 15 millimeter, these could be like some kind of crazy avatars of some kind of ancient jungle god. This is the 172nd guy, but that's okay. Again, I think not only are these going to be great for cavalry in Conquest themselves, be it in the main rank and file game or in First Blood, where I'm going to most likely use them, but I think with big fancy feathered raptors of this size, you can use them for all sorts of interesting theropod needs for the tabletop. And I gotta say, at first I was a little bit skeptical. I didn't feel like everything was gonna really work out in terms of the models being as flexible and as interesting as they were. But I gotta say, playing around with the options when I was building these and having the absolute indecisiveness of what I wanted to do with them uh, definitely has changed my opinions of them greatly. I think the only big challenge is going to be, obviously, if you're going to want to have the riders on there, is figuring out which legs are going to work with which body and with which of the lower arm, leg, feathery hand appendages. Because depending upon how you position them, that's really going to inhibit the poses that you're going to be able to get them into. So something to think about as you are building them, but you know, that's something you should be thinking about anyway, because I can see that being an issue as you want to get them all nice and ranked up for actual games of conquest. So something to think about for the future, for sure. Hopefully, fingers crossed, I'm going to get back to looking for those bases. I have no idea what happened to them. Worst case, I'm just going to order some. And of course, if I do that, then they'll show up. You know, that's the way it works. But Absolutely nice looking fantasy dinosaur kit from Parabellum Games. Plus, obviously, they're going to be great to hang out with the Wadroon ladies and the random few gentlemen that also exist on the tabletop. Who's a good girl as we feed her the heart of our victims? Right? Right. We'll put a link down below to Parabellum's website. If you haven't had a chance to check it out, I do suggest you do so. All the rules for Conquest are there for you to check out at your own perusal. And there's all kinds of fun background lore and info about the game as well. With that said, this has been High Lord Tamberlane with Obscurities and Miniatures. Say it. Thanks for watching, and we will see you back here soon. Bye bye.